thinking about moving to Stockbridge, Georgia? Well, know these six things to help you get started. Hey guys, it's Nakia from Pink Sands Group. So, you're thinking about moving to Stockbridge, Georgia? Exciting! Well, Stockbridge is just a suburb of Atlanta in Henry County and you couldn't have picked a better place. So, here are six things to help you get started. What's number one? Number one, Stockbridge is rated the number two place to live in Henry County. It's actually a small, close-knit town, but not too small. Stockbridge has about 30,000 residents. Everything's like super convenient, like going to the stores, parks, restaurants, but make sure to take the back road. Sundays, it can get real crazy going from the Lowe's in Stockbridge and 675 just to go one exit up to the Walgreens or Hudson Bridge. Get the bananas. Number two, Stockbridge loves a little community event. Let me tell you, I will have to be honest, it's better than a lot of those HOA community events. And you know those are usually popping, right? So, if you're buying a home in an HOA that doesn't do a whole lot, don't worry, the city of Stockbridge has you covered. If you like jazz, outdoor entertainment, food trucks, oh my goodness, the food trucks. So, you know, my absolute favorite is food truck Tasty Tuesdays in Clark Park. You have to make this weekly event. Oh, and I can't forget, their Facebook page does not disappoint. Stay to the end for video information on the Facebook page to see where all the events are going on in Stockbridge, okay? Number three, the school system, it's pretty decent. Well, Woodland High School, their test scores are about the same as the state average, and so are Fairview Elementary. This school has actually ranked at number seven in elementary schools with the best teachers in Henry County, according to Niche. Stockbridge also has plenty of private school options and my favorite Montessori school, the Yami Montessori on North Henry Boulevard. They are so passionate about the kids and it's really like a second home for the children. Also, Henry County offers school choice. What is school choice? Well, if you aren't a fan of your child's assigned school district, you can actually apply to attend another school in the county. But you have to drive them there every single day. Number four, guess what? Wait for it. The homes are affordable in Stockbridge. So, according to the Georgia Multiple Listing Service data, the average price of homes sold thus far in 2021 in Stockbridge is about $254,000. It's putting that house of your dreams much closer to reality than buying a home saying Fayetteville, where the average price home sold this year is about $403,000. Or say Alpharetta, they're pretty much at $649,000. We might as well say $700,000. So Stockbridge is pretty affordable. Number five. Now, have you guys heard of Stone Mountain? No, it's not in Stockbridge, but we got a little something, something here too. The Arabia Mountain Park. Now, this is about 1,600 acre park. It's actually in DeKalb County, but yes, it's still in Stockbridge. You see a little slice of Stockbridge is in DeKalb County too. So, before you buy that home, make sure to ask your trusted realtor like me if it's in Henry County or DeKalb County. You don't want to miss out or lose out on your school choice option by being in the wrong county, do you? Of course not. Visitors, um, when they go to Arabia Park, they could picnic with children, work off their energy on the playground. The park offers archery geocaching, tree climbing, birding, birding. I don't know what birding is, but it sounds real exotic. They've got paved trails for open for biking, rollerblading, jogging, dog walking, while forces fitness trails are open for hiking and running. So it's lots of to do there at that park. Number six, well, Stockbridge is actually wrapping up the completion of a brand new amphitheater. Yes, it's directly behind City Hall off North Henry Boulevard, and it's gonna hold about 3,200 people. Talk about community development, right? It's going to be amazing. See, it's a combination of fixed seating, terrace lawn seating that can be used for open festival seating, table seating, folding chair seating. Let's just say there's no lack of seating. The amphitheater will have like two concession buildings, a wheel call, office building, and a standalone restroom building. But that even is, that isn't even the best part. Guess who's gonna be head up the grand opening coming real soon? None other than Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight on her own once again. Oh, he's leaving, leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. No, I can't sing, but this is gonna be so exciting. So go ahead and subscribe to our page now. I want the link to the City of Stockbridge Events Facebook page is listed below. Have questions about moving to Stockbridge? Reach out to Pink Sands Group anytime. 
We're on Instagram at Pink Sand Group or just call or text 404-834-8533. Happy shopping!